My name is Daughter Bell and I'm currently completing my fourth and final year of industrial design at UTS. I'm completing a major in furniture design and within furniture design one of our projects has been to design a chair for one of three different markets. We could either choose the boardroom, leisure or for children and I decided to design something for the leisure market. In particular I wanted to design a contemporary rocking chair. Before I began actually doing any conceptual design work, I wanted to learn a little bit more about the history of the rocking chair, how it has evolved through time, the types of materials that were used, any special considerations, and I guess the type of user that was, uh, it was targeted for. So I began by doing a lot of research into the history of the rocking chair, just looking at how its form has changed, what types of materials have been used throughout time, and then looking also at some of the contemporary rocking chairs currently on the market and doing an assessment of whether or not I thought um, what their strengths were, their weaknesses, uh, and trying to identify a market gap to see um, where there might be an opportunity for a new type of rocking chair. Uh, I really wanted to focus on the Australian lifestyle and this whole merging of indoor and outdoor spaces and found there wasn't really a rocking chair that could be used both indoors and outdoors um, and something that was a lot more contemporary and fitted in with modern lifestyles rather than the, the old image of the granny sitting rocking on the porch. So after deciding this was sort of where I wanted to, to go with the idea I had a look at different types of um, materials and designs and, and I really wanted to create something that was going to look weightless. Um, part of the enjoyment of a rocking chair is that feeling of, of weightlessness as you gently sort of rock or float and I, I wanted the chair to also visually embody that feeling to make it look like you were also floating um, as well as the movement feeling like you were, were floating. Um, so then I started sketching different forms, um, just sketching in general I guess, things that came to mind. Um, when I found something I was happy with, I started looking at it further, looking at it from every angle. So what did it look like from the top, from the side, from front on, um, and then start thinking about materials and how they were going to influence the design because I wanted something that was very, uh, wanted, to, wanted it to appear very light. I, I was going to need a very strong material. I didn't want to have any struts underneath. And so in the end, um, this was the concept I came up with. This is a one to five scale model of the design. Um, the frame, I wanted a continuous frame that looked like a single piece or a single loop, which you can see around here. Um, this is actually made of stainless steel because there's no way, or I wanted it to be made of stainless steel, there's no way you could do that in timber. But to make it a more comfortable experience for the user, because stainless steel can be quite cold to touch, I added timber armrests. Um, so they have a, a natural warmth to them, the timber, which is and has a nice feel and, and is something that people like to interact with versus the cold metallic finish of stainless steel. The actual seat and chair itself is, uh, I was going to make of uh, woven wicker, which is uh, woven around the frame. I don't know if you can see, but it comes, there's two bits that follow each other here, and the idea was it was designed to come apart so that this frame, this chair, could be repaired over time. I wanted to create a piece that was timeless and beautiful and something that could be passed down from one generation to the next to create kind of a link. The idea was too that the armrest would develop that nice patina um, of use over time so as people's hands stroke it that the oils in their hands will, will leave their mark over time. The one thing that would wear would be the wicker and that you could take the frame apart and replace it so that this chair I guess becomes a history of the family who have owned it.